In this video, I'll show you how to do a simple translation in Scratch. You can see that I have a butterfly sprite right now. If you want to change your sprite, you can go to costumes on the tab on the top left and then select choose a costume and you can choose a different sprite if you'd like. I'm going to stick with the butterfly. So I'm going to click back on the code tab. You'll also notice that I changed the size. I changed it to 50, so it's a little bit smaller um, than the original size. So now we're going to write the code to move the butterfly to another location on the coordinate grid. By the way, in order to get this coordinate grid, you can go to backgrounds on the bottom right here, or choose a backdrop rather, and then it's the third last option currently within the Scratch environment. So under events, we will select when the green flag is clicked. I'm going to make my code a little bit bigger by clicking on this plus here. And then I'm going to make it so when the program starts, when we click that green flag, the butterfly is located at zero, zero. We're then going to select the glide block. So you can see there's a couple of glide blocks. We're going to choose the one that allows you to glide to a certain position on the coordinate grid. And we're going to glide to 50 for X and 75 for the Y value. We can try running that now to make sure that it works. So there you go. Once it glides to that second position, we then want to return it back to zero, zero. But we'd also like it to stay there for a moment. So under control, we're going to select the weight block and we're going to change it to a half a second, so decimal five. Then we'll go back to motion and we will select another glide block. And this time we will change it to zero, zero. So now when we run the program, we'll click the green flag. It goes to 50 to 75 and then returns back to 00.